The wiper has two shafts, one for each arm. One is driven by the wiper motor and the shaft is splined. The other is lazy and the shaft is smooth. Some arms are adjustable for length to cope for different sized windows. Start the wiper motor and stop when the spline shaft is at its furthest extent left or right. Top dead centre as it were. Plus or minus a single spline makes quite a difference to the swept area of the wiper. So you've got to get it right. Push on the splines of the driven arm so that the wiper blade holder is near the edge of the window. Fit the wiper blade. Adjust the length of the arm to suit, if possible, so that the top of the blade, when fitted, is at the top of the window. Fit the lazy arm and adjust length, if possible, so that the blade is vertical. Run the wiper motor and fine-tune the spline position of the driven arm and the length of the lazy arm as required. If you don't follow this method it is frustrating as seen by my skipper who wanted to do the job instead of me. I have sailed many thousands of miles with my skipper and have great faith in his ability in most things but not in setting up a pantograph wiper.